this group unless we can do a better job of serving him through knowledge. The failure of most people to live successfully is not caused by their lack of abilities, far from it, but rather in their failure to decide what it is they want and understanding that our wants are governed by our talents and abilities and that we are divided into two groups of roughly 5% and 95% people in life, but rather with the failure to understand two factors vital to successful living. The first is to make the decision as to what it is we want enough to give it without others serving us. Our rewards in life will and must always be in exact proportion to our service. It is the misunderstanding of this single law which in my mind is responsible for fully 90% of the frustration and discontent we see around us. Now, a lot of people don't like this law, if they're even aware of it, but not liking a law does nothing to change it. The basic laws of nature and economics are unchanging. If, we if a person doesn't like his income, all he has to do is take a good long look at his service. Look where you will, you will find this law in undeviating operation. Our rewards will always be in exact proportion to our service. This is the law, then, that lies as the supporting structure of economics and personal well-being, so fix it in your mind. All attempts to sidestep or in any way avoid this law will result in frustration and failure. So this brings up the question, if what I want is more than I now have, how can I increase my service in order to earn it? Well, whom do we serve? We serve people. So let's take a moment to try to understand people. The more we understand them, the better we can serve them. I think of an adult human being as a grown child doing his best to play for the first and last time on earth this magically. Every human being has a tendency to think, act, and talk like those by whom he is surrounded. This is environment, and it exercises an enormous influence on our lives. We've already pointed out that 95% don't seem to get the word in life, then it follows that in the case of any given individual, the odds are 95 to 5 that he is surrounded by the larger group. And since a body in motion tends to remain in motion,